Hello and welcome to Construction Wolf. Firstly, I'd just like to apologise since it's been so long uh, since the last video. I've just uh, had, you know, a few things going on in life already, which um, has made it difficult uh, to have time to edit the video together. And then also I'm sort of working 30, uh, 33 days at the moment at work. Uh, it's quite a long stretch, so it's uh, pretty crazy and uh, following at the moment. Um, I'll put the link in the description, uh, which has the first part of the video for anyone that hasn't seen that. And also put the link to the Cambridge Book Festival with you and two for interest, because um, there were a few things we saw there which I didn't want to include again in the Peterborough Book Festival with you. Anyway, I hope you enjoy seeing the uh, different uh, sets for sale and also the different, um, you know, mocks people have made. And if you stay tuned to the end, you might see um, what we actually purchased at the Book Festival. Here we have the pinball machine, which is the sixth version now by the Travelling Marker. We saw this at the Cambridge uh, Brick Festival, so please check that video if you want a more in-depth look at the um, model. So she's been working on this for about a year and a half now, and uh, it's really looking impressive now. See lots of uh, bold colours, and uh, there's a lot of uh, moving parts inside. You can see a nice like, um, bonus uh, sign rotating, and the sign uh, with lots of little minifigures in white looks really good. This time, have, uh, the Travis Mock has bought a manual pinball machine that can actually be played. So you can see there's a sort of a lever at the front that controls the bumpers. There's a variety of parts the balls can uh, bounce through. And you'll see here's a video of um, how these uh, machines were made. Well, so I mean, can't be allowed to have a go at this interactive pinball machine that's here this time. So let's zoom uh, in and take the book. And we're away. Bumpers work quite smoothly, very impressive um, that it's just all made out of Lego really. Try and get it up higher. Oh that's a good move. Ah. Thought we'd have a look at a few more sets for sale now. We've got uh, a few sealed retired sets here which are quite interesting like the Barracuda Bay and the old fishing store. This seller has a lot of uh, recent gift with purchases available for the sale. Really well stocked. There's the Sailboat Adventure, quite a reasonable price. Then the Houses of the World too. This is Marmot Animation by Alan Storer. So what Alan does is make stop motion Lego movies. You can see an example of his work here. And then if we scroll over here, we can see these are some of his, uh, shall we say, film sets. This is a church set with a father and a nun minifigures present. And you can see here, I really like these stained glass windows. Look really good uh, with the translucence, uh, the lights come through. We've also got where the holy water comes from, a little basin. Uh, we've got this other set here, which is uh, a Sherlock Holmes set. So Alan just uh, spot over for us to have a closer look. See uh, Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson investigating the crime. Like the lit up fire at the back. And this is the Mama Animation uh, YouTube channel, so please check it out. And uh, there's actually another set behind it, which is a Star Wars scene. There's, uh, I think Darth Vader is zapping someone. This is uh, one more brick store, which are uh, custom models uh, that they make. They're all made out of genuine Lego bricks, but there's just so many impressive things here. They're like uh, reindeers, all sorts of uh, like Christmas uh, scenes that you can add to your, uh, say, cities. You've got some Star Trek here, it's really cool, the Enterprise and the Klingon ship. Like the uh, aliens as well, with a little face hugger. Not seen the um, Wednesday Adam's Family thing on Netflix yet. We have Doctor Who with Daleks and the uh, TARDIS. What else have we got here? Got things you can customise your modular buildings with, like hospital beds and you know, your kitchen portal science lab inside. A few little animals. Oh, there's a little uh, brick built DeLorean. Yeah, so it's quite uh, impressive the, how it looks with just a few pieces. And it's got a lot of bone boxes and trees. The new stands. Just means you can like add more detail to your cities. Give a little uh, baby prams. Little baby Lego mini figure. Then the sort of uh, carts that um, sell produce, flowers, ice cream man. Make a little Lego supermarket, actually, it'd be quite cool. 
where you can get uh, get a bar here. Got some um, say drinks on tap and uh, some cocktail mixing going on. Then uh, oh, you can make an uh, arcade machines as well. Or Pac Man. Got the music section. We've got drum sets and a stage. We can have like a drive-through cinema. With a big cinema screen there. Some uh, vehicles. Well, and even a gym, that's quite cool. There's uh, some more images of uh, some of the products as well. And here, this is a really cool thing. They uh, actually can do custom printing too. So if we uh, zoom in closer, you can see different um, sort of fizzy drinks. And uh, I like, um, like I said, the Snickers, it's Brickers. <laughs> That's quite cool. And the chocolate bars, the little pizza boxes. I think I'll call it prints like uh, Game Boys. And then uh, Lego sets. You can actually design your own prints, but um, you'd have to order quite a lot to make it cost effective. More Lego for sale. We've got uh, different parts bagged up that you can uh, buy. And then uh, Lego sets too. And there's actually so many Lego sets, they're stacked up almost as high as a basketball hoop. These are the framed up pictures that contain pop culture minifigures. We had a good look at these at the Cambridge Prick Festival, so check out that video. Just really good idea, looks very classy. There's James Bond. There's a lot of uh, Star Wars sets available for sale here too. Most of these are brand new. And on the other side, there's a different variety of sets. This is the Poly Brick Hospital by Lee Stanley. Very impressive, uh, the size mock. A massive hospital uh, he's constructed. Then we can see here, thank you to the NHS. That's all uh, good for all the key workers. Sort of a bicycle station for the staff to pull in. A little uh, cat on the flower box there. Here we see the nice entrance to the hospital uh, with flowers. And then we've got the uh, accident emergency department here where the ambulances can pull in. And a large red cross at the front of the hospital. You can see some patients uh, being treated, a little mini figures on the beds. It's our waiting room. So much detail inside. Oh, we've got like you know those model skeletons that the doctors uh, can point out things on and teach students. A little science lab there. A little where uh, it must be like the neonatal unit with little babies. And it looks like a uh, patient's being resuscitated here. And then they've even got a helipad uh, for emergency cases to be brought in. There's a nice uh, clear NHS line. Looks really good brick built. He just put so much work and details into this, it's uh, really impressive to see in real life. And uh, Lee's also made a Queen's Jubilee display. As it was the Jubilee last year, there's the Queen uh, waving from her carriage. Uh, lots of uh, onlookers showing support, waving British flags. And uh, he's also made this uh, impressive crown. With uh, different like uh, jewels inside of it, we can use the transparent elements. He has also made a Muppet Theatre, which he's going to open up and show us. You can see it lights up, and uh, you may be able to hear the Muppets theme in the background. You can see a nice little band, and then the um, there's different TV sets you can interchange at the back there. We've also got like uh, green rooms. You see Gonzo coming out of one. Nice detailing on the side, and then there's the gentleman uh, watching on. And uh, these are the different stages that you can interchange. So this is like a different TV set, so like a hospital one. Then the um, Burton Only one. And the Swedish chef, a uh, cooking show. And the uh, science lab with Vega. And these all change as well, so I take that out and let's all end up off and take off in. And there's like Star Wars one with Miss Piggy. And uh, Lee's also made this uh, Wednesday um, mock as well. I've not actually seen the show, this is uh, quite recently on Netflix from the Adams family. So there's the front of the house with uh, Wednesday playing a violin on the balcony. 
Actually, it could be a cello as it's quite large. And there's the detailing on the inside, very colourful. Like the news of uh, capes hanging up there, actually. And there's a nice sort of uh, transparent window. Next, we have some Trumpton models by Jason Briscoe. So this is uh, from a 1960s uh, TV show, which uh, is part of the Campbell Green trilogy. So you can see Jason here has made uh, actually much bigger than minifigure scale uh, figures um, on this fire engine. So they look really good. I like the gold buttons too. And here's the rest of the firemen ready for action. And the firemen have also uh, got a band that you can see playing here in this uh, gazebo. All of their different instruments, drums and like uh, cymbals and like uh, trumpets. There's even conductor reading from the sheet music. I really like the scale of these figures. Um, and Jason was saying that he decided on them by starting with the tyres of the fire engine. They're sort of working around what works best and working his way up. Angling Brooks have built a football diorama. You see all the players there. Someone's getting red carded. Um, someone uh, holding hands up in innocent. And then there's a uh, a player putting on Oscar winning performance injured, just like real football. And we've got a coach and uh, some subs at the back with some cheerleaders as well. Gavin Pell has built this modular city cinema. Quite a large uh, model, looks impressive. And uh, you'll see here at the front you've got like the stars like in Hollywood, like the Walk of uh, Fame. Got some nice statues uh, at the front. You can see on the inside the entrance. And then on the top floor, you can just see through this hole here, because um, the top's been taken off, there's the film screen with all the crowd uh, watching. And around the side we've got some film posters which add a nice pop of colour. But we've got the spider, and then uh, what else we've got? The 50 year brick, yes, yeah, so very good uh, interesting names. This is the Race to the Grill by uh, Jeremy Roberts. A uh, very impressive uh, Indiana Jones uh, mock. You see Indy there, uh, with his uh, whip on a horse. So much detail, we've got these tanks here. And then even the sort of mountains in the background. This is like the uh, the scene from the film, where with all the uh, military vehicles. It's been a few years since I've seen it, so I'm a bit fuzzy on it. The little dinosaur that he snuck in. And then uh, there's uh, must be inside of a tomb. It's an Egyptian tomb. Nice lit up. This must be uh, finding some more artifacts. And this might be the scene, is this one with the cups? Where he drinks some cups, I'm not sure. It's been so many years, and then, uh, oh yeah, so uh, where someone gets uh, stuck in uh, quicksand as well, and they're uh, trying to get Indy out. So, just a final look before we head off then. I thought I'd just give you a sense of scale by giving an overview of the venue. Uh, Peterborough Brick Festival is much bigger than I thought actually, um, and it's more travel to the Cambridge Brick Festival. You see the different variety of sellers, then um, people exhibiting dotted throughout the hall as well. And then just to the side here, we've got some uh, more exhibits of uh, different um, mocks people have made, which is just through here. You see the size in here as well. There's some little ch building challenges people can do too. Right, we've had a good look around the Peterborough Brick Festival now. It's nice to see a few familiar faces that we met in the Cambridge Brick Festival. I'm going to put a link in the description below so you can see some of their mocks. I didn't want the video to be too repetitious compared to a Cambridge Big Festival video, so I've only had a quick look at some of their mocks. Uh, we've seen some newer mocks as well, got to chat to some really funny uh, creators. And um, you see, as you've seen, we've uh, had uh, a good look around uh, what's on sale. Uh, we've made a few purchases, so uh, let's travel back and uh, show the wolf what we've got. Well, we're back home with the wolf now. We had a nice day out um, looking at the different sets. There were a few retired sets I'm uh, keeping an eye on, but at present they're maybe a bit too pricey for me, so something I'm going to consider later down the line. We did get a few things though uh, while we were there. So as we had the early bird ticket weekend at 10 a.m., they give you a poly bag for free. Since we had two, obviously two tickets, we got these two Harry Potter poly bags so that we can uh, have a build up maybe at some point. And then um, I went and saw some minifigures actually uh, for sale and they have some retired minifigures, they have plenty. But uh, one set is saying um, these sets were all brand new so all the accessories are present because some minifigures I found didn't have accessories. Uh, so the Series 21, so this is before we got back into Lego, uh, they had these packed up. But what the seller's done is just uh, put a little sit in to make sure you can get what you want and then they've labelled them. So we've actually got you know five minifigures that actually did want there so that's pretty good. Uh, another thing we got 
Oh, if I go to the right side now, is uh, this uh, nice little chef uh, minifigure shopping bag. So that's pretty cool there. And then uh, finally, let me see what we finally got at the end. We went actually saw these last time in Cambridge. So this is a, a little artwork, this framed up artwork. Uh, you can see here, it's actually the four Ghostbusters minifigures, you know, the original Ghostbusters. So I'll show you that up close. I think it's just really cool, nice thing. It's a uh, very sort of, you know, classy the way it's done. I look good on the wall uh, back at the house. So hopefully you enjoyed seeing what we got and um, what we saw at the show. It was really nice actually to see a few uh, familiar faces from the Brick uh, Festival in Cambridge last month. Uh, a few people remembered us, so it's uh, nice to see people again. Hopefully you've enjoyed uh, watching this video and um, if you have, um, please consider liking and subscribing because that helped the channel out. Until next time, it's goodbye from us. Bye.